Bull faces Sandu. Oh, straight through him. Knocked him over. He'd been at the stumps early in this over, and that one couldn't have been any straighter. Top of middle. He's changed his angle here, coming around the wicket to Anderson now. Spinning in towards the stump, big shout. There's a five. Fabulous five for Fallons and the double dab. Change the angle, change the result. Anderson out. Anderson walks off with the four. England out. Nine for two. Two for 93. It's important to use that knowledge, isn't it? That's flicked down the leg side. Well played from Larkin. It's going to race away to the boundary. It's going to be four. The first boundary of the Cricket Australia innings. I felt fairly, fairly safe up there. Bob. It was okay. Okay. Well, it's good ball this time. It just sort of takes the top edge of the bat. It's going to go around and run away for four. With zero risk. The real good battle out here for these Australian 11 batters. Larkin on strike now to Wokes. That one, big shout from Wokes. Finally, they get one. Shepard makes the decision. Oh, maybe giving the, uh, the Fallons signal there. This time Carter plays off the hip. It's a good looking shot. It's going to go all the way to the boundary for four. Time that really well. Ball. Oh, that one is short, wide and edged. His ball, first time I've seen him. Carter faces. There's a shot through cover. Stand still, my friend. That's four. That's the wrong end. And on that delivery, we'll see the tea break. Pulls it straight to mid on, and he's gone. Well, they, how often we see wickets fall straight after breaks. That's just a lapse in concentration. Carter has worked so hard, he's hit the short ball straight to mid on, off. Well, high up on the bat. And again. Oh, that's bowled him. Well, that was the straighter one. Might have been the toppy. Sanger on strike to Wokes. Oh, it's short and rising and lobs up and easily taken at Gully. It's well so from Wokes. Injected back into the attack and then automatic success. Chris Wokes, there's two of them. To short, oh, that was short. He got a hold of it, though. Absolutely got all of it. And went all the way. Hit it over the Tulsa Pickets for four, for six. Crane in again, that one's shorter and wider and smashed to the boundary for four. But it's gonna be Mason Crane to continue but on the Tim Payne oh that one's short and pulled away four more Cricket Australia 11 starting to capitalise Payne another short one four more can't bowl there 100 now for the Cricket Australia 11 Again, short of ball, rocks back, does Matt Short, and punches it through mid-wicket for six. Great oh. shot. <laughs> Backward point, catching mid-wicket, mid-on. A new position, isn't it? Comes in again, Vince. This one short and wide and cut. And cut beautifully for four. Great shot, Tim Payne. And one hasn't played too many false strokes from memory. The last ball before the break, it's a short one, a very good short one. And Matty Short ducks out the way. Broad definitely is going to be an in. Shot. That's a great shot. That's six. How about that? Easy as you like. Payne rocks back. So again, he comes in, Wokes. That one's short and played beautifully. Keeps it to ground. Stroll through. For a very well-made 50. Great knock. Captain's knock, you might say.
Much better for the Australian 11. There's two games going on concurrently here involving English teams. Edged and oh, gone. That's a very good, good catch. catch from Johnny Besto. That's a really good catch. It's gone lower to his right. And Anderson strikes as all the really good bowlers do. Anderson in. Oh, it struck him on the paddle. Really close. And close enough to give him out. So a good innings from Tim Payne. Comes to an end. It was full and it was straight. Change of bowler here. That's smashed into the grandstand for six. Well, thank you very much. Joe Root with his off spin to Malenko on 49. He works it to mid wicket, and that is a very well compiled 50. Started off in a blaze of glory, dealing in boundaries and sixes, spread the field, and then for the last probably 10 to 15 runs, has been able just to manipulate the field and pick up his ones. Sounds a little bizarre. Playing with a dwarf. He struck on the pad. Big appeal he's given. He's gone back and across. Malenko's not overly pleased with the decision. But it's not up to him. He's been asked to leave. Not really the idea of the batting pads. Legs slip in now. Oh, that's close. Appeal again and given. Another LB. And again, the batsman's not happy. But once again, it's not up to the batsman. That's why we have umpires. He's been given. And Crane was in no doubt that was out. Johnny Besto joined him. That's well played from Coleman. Just pushes through the leg side. Comes back for two. As you most tail enders, who's got a couple of runs. He ran that very quickly just to make sure he's getting full value for his shot. He moves to four. Pretty pointless story, that, wasn't it? Probably not one of your greatest, but that's okay. No. Even, even four days. And the declaration has happened. So the Cricket Australia 11 have decided. Big bustling. Lefty comes in again. Oh, big shout. That one looks a little bit closer. It's time. Give it not out as well. That is the final ball. Sails over the top of off stump. Taken through to Payne, who walks straight off, as do the English batters, umpires, and the Australian fielders. So in a, uh, a day that started with uh, England at the crease, they took the two wickets. They then were nine down, declared, and 